Welcome back to round one of the Yugi Tuber Championship. Today we have Simo versus Asian Persuasion 2008. I'm DZF, and with me I have Nim Nim because uh, Simo didn't want to commentate his own match, and also he recently got his wisdom teeth removed, so I don't know how uh, inebriated he is right now. Um, introduce yourself, Nim Nim. What's up? Uh, not too much, but uh, I'm just saying right now, if Simo wants to commentate any matches, I'm sure it would be a treat for all of us yeah. to hear him in his oh, geez, Let currently. me turn off the audio of the Dune Buck. Okay, so it looks like Simo is playing Spirals. Uh, I think Asian Persuasion is likely playing Light Swords. Uh, not only is that like the deck he pretty much is known for playing and has a ton of regional tops with, he also does have the Lumina Avatar on right now. That'd be kind of interesting, and uh, looks like Simo's hand. I mean, we have one piece of disruption in the Ash Blossom. We see a pseudo space, which is pretty interesting. Um, we'll have to see what Asian Persuasion actually comes up with here. I don't yeah, think it doesn't I seem like to... uh, his pseudo space will be uh, carrying much weight until he can get to his Spiral Resort. But uh, Spiral is just a really interesting choice to play because. Oh, Deneb, so it's not Light Swarms. So interesting. It's a ah. But uh, yeah, as I was saying, Spiles is an interesting choice. I know Simo's been really working with that deck. He enjoys playing it a lot, so he's going to see what he can do. Do you think that we'll see an Ash Blossom here, or do you think... Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that uh, the Neb will see an Ash Blossom here, as most of the plays for uh, Satellar Knights are pretty linear, so being able to stop him getting to Altair oh. or something big like that would be helpful. He let it go oh. through. I wonder yeah, if he could possibly be waiting for Duality, I guess, or Desire, or Card of Demise. Yeah. Uh, you think uh, Satellar Knight's playing Card of Demise? You think that's a thing they would do? Or I uh, think since they're searching, I don't think I it's don't a... think that... I guess, in retrospect, uh, Asian Persuasion probably wouldn't play Card of Demise because he likes to play decks that can, like... I, in his Satellar Knight builds, he's usually pretty aggressive with them. Uh, but mm -hmm. I wouldn't say it's completely out of the question. We see him at Vega, though, which would imply that he has an Altair in hand, which uh, mm -hmm. actually means that not ashing the Deneb was probably the right way to go because uh, if he already has the Altair... And it doesn't really do anything. I want to see two back row, though. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm still curious to see if we'll be able to see this uh, Pot of Desires or Pot of Duality come down. Oh, no. Nope, so. so the Chalice is useless right now, but uh, actually could be pretty valuable going forward. Now, what's interesting here is that a Super Agent, if he hits the, the call, could take out one back row. And uh, what we really want to see from Simo's side here is he really wants to resolve one for one he wants to get to that quick fix he wants to start comboing off through two back row though and only with the problem here is that he wants to summon the super agent and he wants to discard the ash blossom but he has to get rid of one of those for the one for one so i'm curious what he's actually going to go I with think something important to note too is uh possibly activating the super agent in hand would also bait out the uh the counter trap card from satellite nice what's what's it called alpha, uh, alpha I think yeah. it's called. that card's crazy so possibly baiting that out and getting it out of the way could maybe give him a clear uh, path here to play as one for one, which, as you were describing, uh, is definitely the way to go. One for but, one, uh, probably discard super agent. Yeah, so this way, assuming this goes through, well, even if it doesn't go through, he's down to one back row. Mm -hmm. um, and then he can use big red to revive the super agent. Um, that will be pretty good because it'll take out the other back row. He still kind of has this dead pseudo space, though, which uh, mm -hmm. could be kind of tough. But if this quick fix resolves, I mean, it's going to be in a good spot. Um, unfortunately, I mean, a lot of times the quick fix is searching the spiral gear big red, so I'm sure he much rather would have uh, had that card in deck to search. Mm -hmm. We see him add drone here. So uh, as if, if uh, Asian Persuasion doesn't have relevant back row, this actually could be a pretty big turn. Mm -hmm. um, Simo didn't draw the spiral master plan, which is like his garnet, so that could be pretty exciting. We see him going for this, though, before he normal summons the drone. And it looks like the uh, super agent is going to be able to hit the field here. Yeah. So, targeting one of the back rows with super agent. Quaking and he gets force. Quaking air force. Okay, okay. so <laughs> if uh, one for one resolved, if quick fix resolved, if super agent resolved, I think we can assume that that other back row would either be another mirror force card or possibly a call the haunted. I don't think it's a Teller Nova Alpha anymore because I think he would have stopped that. The one for one is such like an obvious thing to uh, hit with like a, mm -hmm. a negation. And also mm -hmm. we know that Asian Persuasion has uh, two monsters in his hand. We, we, we can assume that he has Vega and Altair in his hand. Um, we can also assume after not having any of those plays stopped that he, the third card might actually be another monster, not a hand trap. Because I think that, mm -hmm. once again, that one-for-one, one, such a big bait for cards like Ash Blossom and any sort of negation. 
Mm-hmm. So we'll I'm pretty sure it's safe to assume, like you said, like the back row, at least it's not alpha, which that's the big card that um would be hard to play around for Alex because that card is just so powerful. But uh, I think it's safe to assume by now, uh, after all those big plays had gone through, uh, that, that back row is probably either another mirror fort, like another battle trap even, uh, like... What what are some other battle traps playing right now? I, I mean, I guess like storming mirror force is is possible. Mm-hmm. It, he might have drawn. He's probably not just playing the one quaking mirror force, so he could have mm-hmm. drawn two. Um, it looks like he had a very monster heavy hand. What's interesting, and I know this because I played him last year. Uh, Asian persuasion also played this exact deck in the uh, last year's YouTuber Championship, um, which is kind of interesting. He beat me with it, and uh, so <laughs> looks like he keeps bringing this to it. Okay, so he puts. Didn't see. Okay, so Alpha is now on top of his deck, which, um, I mean, that makes sense because you'd want to stack something that, I mean, you don't want to draw a trap card going against, like, Simo's uh, board here, uh, especially considering he will probably somehow be able to summon the Spiral Sleeper, which could then just pop the Alpha in the end phase. But I think it's looking really tough for Asian Persuasion right now, um, mm-hmm. assuming that other back rows is not something relevant, which I think is pretty safe. And assuming he has a lot of monsters in hand, it looks like this very well could just be summon three uh, Satellar Knights into a sleeper activation to kill everything. And that's mm-hmm. going to be pretty hard to come back from. Yeah, something important to note is that Alex also still managed to uh, retain his Ash Blossom and Joy Spring in his hand, which, moving into next turn, after Asian Persuasion goes off on his Satellar Knight plays, uh, it being able to possibly stop the Deneb at that point when he's out of resources would probably be a pretty good play to pretty much ensure the victory at that point because Asian Persuasion wouldn't be able to get himself into like another Altair or something for the following plays at the turn. Right. So, but uh, it looks like Alex is cleaning this up pretty big with Spiral Sleep or Last Resort hitting the board here, which is just uh, gruesome against pretty much, I'd say, majority of rogue decks. Yeah, I mean, we don't really see this play too much anymore as people really aren't playing Spirals, although they have seen some regional tops and even a YCS top with the new spam list. But uh, boy, does it really take care of those rogue decks. It's Sleeper with Resort and Last Resort is really tough for a lot mm-hmm. of decks. Oh, it is the second Quake Emir Force. Okay. Man, so his hand was like all all monsters. It was like mm-hmm. Deneb, Altair... Va- or Deneb Altair double quaking mirror force, which is not really the type of disruption that you want against spirals. Yeah. Let's see here. It's just kind of rough to see both of those quaking mirror forces because ideally, maybe even just having one of them plus a di- like a trap that could actually be more proactive mm-hmm. throughout a turn rather than just waiting till the battle phase would have been something more helpful. Like I said, like Alpha would be helpful or something like that, but. Uh, not having those and just having two quaking mirror forces, Alex decides he wants to take precautions in popping the back row and clean it up. So just we're looking in case. at twenty. Oh, that's exact. That's game. exact game. I think. Yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, twenty plus nineteen plus. Well, that is game. Quick Man. game one. Man, I don't think there was really anything else that Asian Persuasion could have done in the situation. Um, I think that Simo's hand very likely could have played through to real back row um mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I think that his hand had the the options to actually like if they had if he would have had like a, a nova and even like a judgment i'm pretty sure simo could have played through those and been fine but the fact that asian persuasion did not have any real back row um yeah that's really rough i wonder if i can skip the side deck game next play next, next play, play again there we go oh there we go okay cool <laughs> let's see here i would assume that once again asian persuasion would try to go first here yeah. yeah, it just seems that Asian Persuasion opened up decent for turn one. Like I said, just maybe a couple more traps would have helped him. This there. hand's actually pretty similar to that last yeah. one, three of the this same hand cards. looks very, pretty much the same for Alex on Simo's side here. So I wonder how many uh, pseudo spaces he's playing. Most people probably just play one, and that means that he's opened it <laughs> two games in a row. <laughs> probably not too happy about that, but it looks like he's opening up uh, other set, other than that, some pretty interesting uh, cards to work with uh, his deck here. Uh, yeah. Ash Blossom and Joy Spring, maybe he'll finally get some use out of it this time rather than just keeping it in his hand. Oh, he, oh, wait, he went going first. I just realized, okay. yeah, I didn't even realize Yeah, that we're looking just... at the wrong side. <laughs> oh, okay. That's a little bit interesting to think because most... I w- like, yeah, I wouldn't want to play against the, the Spiral Sleeper setup going... Yeah. Maybe he sided Reaper. 
it's possible. Although, that's possible. I, I mean, that's like pretty far reaching. Uh, that's sort of like one of the interesting things. I know Simo talked about this in his announcement video, using me as an example with decks that I ended up not playing. But uh, basically, he was talking about how, in many of his cases, a lot of us are known for certain decks. And I heard a lot of people saying, well, Simo isn't really known for any deck. And maybe that is kind of true. But uh, I guess for us that talk to him regularly, he's con he's been playing Spirals like... Not only when they were full power, not only when they were hit, but even the second hit now, oh, yeah. they are, he's been like he always playing that like every weekend. So I, I thought it was pretty obvious that he'd play it. Um, man, okay, it's anti spell fragrance. So he gets out this spiral double helix here, and um, I don't know. It looks like we're gonna start seeing some big plays moving here from Alex, and looks yeah, like absolutely. I think at this point it's safe to assume they're gonna go uncontested, as we haven't seen a hand trap come out yet, uh, especially on master plan here. I think now would be the time you'd see it. Yeah, and no, no Reaper. I mean, it would be, uh, like, I was playing Reaper in my round one, but I only had uh, Heavy Metal Falls Electromite and Invoked <laughs> Mechaba, and uh, I thought about ABC Buster Dragon, but I think that Spiral he Double Helix would have been pretty far-reaching. That would have <laughs> taken a lot of thinking to actually put that in the... <laughs> I think it's safe to assume we're going to start seeing the uh, Spiral Sleeper board pop up here with uh, Resort and Suda Space. Going to be getting a lot of advantage on Simo's side here. Uh Back it up with a couple trap cards. Oh, he's going to be sitting pretty with Ash Blossom in hand as well. Looks like it's going to be an uphill battle for Asian Persuasion. Yeah, as, as someone that has played a trap deck against full power spirals, it, it's so hard because all they have to... I mean, they, they sleeper you in your end phase to take out two of your back row. Like, even if you set like five back row, which isn't likely, but even if you set five, they sleeper two of them in your end phase, and then when they draw, they pop two more. Now you're down to one back row, and they haven't lost any cards because the sleeper doesn't even have to destroy itself. You can just uh, keep it alive with a last resort. So it's, uh, it's, it's really nice. hard scary board and especially for Satellar Knights too it's hard to think exactly what he's going to be able to set up because just as he tries to make anything it'll get stopped by not only Ash Blossom but Sleeper like what are some of the cards that Satellar Knights could probably make to out the board okay so Alex the the quote-unquote out to this board uh, which really only delays it by one turn is that uh, Satellar Knights can technically make uh Triver on their their second turn because uh now they have that well, it's not new anymore, but relatively new <laughs> rank four that takes two Satellar Knights. Then you can discard a card to uh, rank it up into Triver. Um, that would technically out this board if uh, if he could somehow stick. I mean, you'd have to do a, you'd have to somehow bait out the sleeper, which could be tricky. Um, see or like Kaiju it, I, I suppose he might have sided in the Kaijus. Uh, but even that doesn't help in the long run. Yes, you're taking care of the decode talker. Yes, you are technically taking the sleeper off the field, but you're adding the resort back to their hand and Simo has a pseudo space and Simo has all this other stuff. So it could be really rough. I don't know. I, I don't really know what what Satonites could possibly have in their hand to actually deal it's with It's also story. really important to note that you said on their second turn. I don't even think Asian Persuasion would be able to get a second <laughs> turn with this kind of 40 staring down. Time to get pooped on, he says in the chat. <laughs> Yeah, it's really rough. The Ash Blossom could hurt. I mean, I guess we can assume that he was holding the Ash Blossom for some sort of draw spell. The The Ash Blossom on Deneb can win the game. Uh, it also, though, could put you in a weird spot if they had if they happen to have Call the Haunted, then mm -hmm. it wouldn't have really done anything. We'll see here. I mean, he has six cards. He, he could have sided Kaijus. Uh... Kaijus are pretty good. A card that no one really plays anymore, but that was a really good out to this board and actually would, you asked what card could out this board. Uh, one of the best outs to the Spiral board is uh, Spell Shattering Arrow. So if uh, if Asian Persuasion was somehow able to bait the Sleeper and uh, you could chain Spell Shattering Arrow and what would happen is the Resort and the Last Resort would destroy and then because there's no last resort, the sleeper would blow up itself. So you'd still you lose your two cards, but I, because the sleeper popped itself, then uh, uh, Simo would lose the deco talker and the back row. That was like a pretty good out to this, but no one really plays that card anymore. No one's really preparing for the spiral matchup too much. The last time I heard about spell shattering arrow wasn't even spiral format. Like when I think spell shattering arrow, I think back in pendulums when people were like yeah. between fairy gift and, and spell shattering arrow, like what's the best one? <laughs> yeah, it's tricky. Yeah, there it saw some uh, play in uh, Trick Stars mainly because like it did the the one thousand burn damage for doing that as well. But oh, it, yeah. it, it saw some play in some rogue decks as well. It was pretty much like the uh, the budget option for evenly matched. And I, I suppose we could say that evenly matched would kind of out this board. I mean, it looks like he's normal summoning something, so I don't think that's going to come up. Um, but even if you evenly matched, he just keeps the sleeper, or he, I guess in this case he might even keep the resort, and then mm -hmm. he just does everything next turn anyway oh maybe you'd keep the sleep i mean it doesn't really matter because it didn't happen so mm -hmm. we'll see even if he has five back row it's going to be really tough 
So it looks so. like summon a nuclear high, set a couple back row. Looks like the game plan here. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Even if it's five, like it's still really tough. It looks like it is going to be five, though. <laughs> is that the last one? Maybe not. I don't know. Waiting in suspense here. Oh, flip card demise. So I was and raised playing card Ash demise. Blossom. Yeah, I didn't think it was that crazy. Ash Blossom. Means the last card in his hand was a monster, though. Probably. if it, It's probably not a Deneb. Maybe it might be a Deneb, though, because he's playing on card of demising. Mm -hmm. But we so know now, at least it's a monster card. At the end of the turn, Asian Persuasion still has to discard his hand, correct? Uh, no idea. Hopefully they no know. No idea. Can't special summon, and during the end phase, and I, I'm not sure if he has to discard his entire hand. I don't know the ruling behind that, but hopefully they will. And see, here, here's what I was talking about. Simo pops two back rows, so going into the the second turn there, uh, he's only gonna have one back row face down. And hopefully that last there goes calls a lot too. You see a uh, spiral mission rescue flip up that'll add back the super agent. So Super Agent, I mean, he'll probably just Sleeper to destroy the, the two things when mm -hmm. he starts his turn, but uh, he doesn't technically have to. He can just summon Super Agent. It's, okay, we see him draw another one of a Foolish Burial. Pretty strong card. Send Quick Fix. I have a feeling Alex is going to use his uh, Sleeper Sleep to pop those phase. two last cards. Yeah, but, it, um... it seems pretty likely. Oh, and there Dark goes Dark Hole as well. Yeah, as Dark Hole is not going to do it against the uh, Spiral deck. I think. Uh... I think this might be it. Because you just have to summon what super agent and let yep. it go. But uh... his six, so his six card was anti spell. So his opening hand was um, demise, call the haunted dark hole, anukalhai, and then one card in hand. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like I don't know. I mean, if he would have went first, it wouldn't have made that diff that much of a difference in this case. But I, I feel like you can't choose to go second against yeah, spirals. Yeah, I feel like when choosing to go second deck. is just like suicide because even that hand, that hand is actually pretty okay going first because summoning a nuclear high dumping the neb you could pretty much guarantee the fact that you'd be able to activate that call of a haunted and get that uh advantage off of your deneb when you summon it back but uh just put himself in a rough spot i think by allowing alex to go first and being able to get his uh spiral board set up uh definitely scary definitely i don't think that was the right play i think it was a mistake um I would have definitely had chosen to go first. I can't imagine going second at all with Satel or Knight. I, in I any think the, uh, the idea, at least, is like, okay, Spirals have lost a lot of their consistency cards, so I'm going to let them go first. They're going to open just five cards. They're not going to be able to combo off. Or maybe I'll have like the Hand Trap to stop it. Well, I'm not sure if he's playing Hand Traps with the Card of Demise. That seems a little mm -hmm. confusing there. If seems he's playing that card, probably not playing Card of Demise, or probably not playing the Hand Traps. So, I mean, I, I suppose his idea was like, okay, if I draw one Ghost Ogre... And Simo only draws one way to combo. Well, I can just go soak at the double helix. Um, I don't know if that was the best choice, though. I feel like there's so many trap cards that you just want, and it's it's really rough. It's kind of like Girgia. Girgia, when they went second, it was like going like third because your first turn play is just setting armor. That doesn't really do anything proactive. In this case, the first turn play is summoning a nuclei. That's not really accomplishing any like advantage. So we'll see here. I wonder how so much. So funny scenario at this point. Uh, mm -hmm. C mode couldn't put game on board because he gave him a thousand life points right. off of Upstar Call. I don't know if it was a mistake. If you forgot, you could have gambled and tried to summon Super Agent or something like that. Or I'm, I'm sure there's a. There's got to yeah, be. Yeah, he could have just, just uh, uh, foolish for the board. quick fix and then discards. Oh, he doesn't have a. No, he doesn't have a. Is this guy treated as Super Agent? Let's see. Oh, I guess the sleeper isn't treated. Okay, yeah, he he didn't have a way to do game that I can see, because the quick fix can't summon itself. He doesn't have Super Agent. But at this point, you might as well oh, look at the, it. Oh, the Spiral like, Tough is Super them. Agent. Yeah, he could have won because he could have uh, summoned the Quick Fix, discard the re the regular Super Agent, add Big Red, and then activate Big Red to summon Super Agent. Yeah. I mean, objectively, even if we look at this game, it's still pretty much... <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that was game to win. I don't think there's really even a way Satellar Knights can come back. We got to see what... The, I want to see what that last card in Asian Persuasion's hand is. I'm Arby quite cards. curious to see what it is, if it's a monster or something. So, but. in some ways, it's worth mentioning that... Uh, yeah, technically he could draw a card in demise. Uh, will that make a difference? Probably, Probably not. not. Uh, even like the best draw, the, the quote unquote best draw would be like evenly matched. Uh, Simo could just keep the sleeper and then pop whatever he summons. Mm -hmm. It also is important to know if he just draws into two more back row plus a monster with card of demise just during the end phase, pop those two back row to completely ignore them, and at that point you'll be able to push 
for game throw or whatever monsters Asian Persuasion would have. Yeah, so Vega was the last card in his hand, which he couldn't summon last turn because he was trying to act at card demise. Mm -hmm. So he's did not he, gonna did he actually draw effect. card demise? Oh, he didn't. Well, no. and he's I don't just think that's going to do it. Suicide it <laughs> yeah, I don't got, think that's going to do doesn't it. Doesn't do anything either. <laughs> Man. Poor Satellar Knights. Maybe they have uh, finally been power crept out of the game. We will have to see. I don't know. Last year, it was really close. Like, I did the, the Sky Scourge combo to give him to zero cards, and then he drew to Neb, and he actually was able to come back from that. So, mm -hmm. Oh, Am I what if this something? is a quake game here for us? <laughs> Why wasn't that game? Am I missing something? Uh, did he attack? Oh, Did he not I don't take know. I think, damage, I think they're just messing around here. Oh, <laughs> oh Imperial yeah. Order. Okay, yeah, there you go. Well, that's game. Yeah, that was uh, always an uphill battle, that entire match. I think uh, the first game probably would have been winnable if, if either trap card like did anything. Uh, maybe not, though. I mean, the, and I they would have had this... to like, specifically been like Alpha and like a Solemn. I think the second game would have went very differently had Asian Persuasion chosen to gone first. I, I still am very confused by that decision because you're playing a demise deck even too. Like it's questionable that you would have hand traps in that deck. Yeah, looks so like he's, he's a couple cards from his deck. Maybe we'll see a hand trap. Or none of these cards look like going second cards. Yeah, so he did no. Have duality. No, That's I'm not seeing tricky. anything that looks like it would. Evenly Justified. matched? Okay, there's like, there's Very one bad. evenly matched there, so he's probably playing three of those. Anyway, though, that is going to wrap up this round for Simo and Asian Persuasion. Simo is moving to the next round. Asian Persuasion is sadly not, so Tolonets could not keep it up against Spirals. And uh, make sure to tune in tomorrow. I think Simo is posting these like every single day. And don't forget that uh, you have to change your deck every single round. So Simo won this round so with Spirals, so he has to play a different deck next round. Yep, I'm, I'm curious to see what uh, Simo will be playing next round. Uh, something... Hopefully the fans don't know. Uh, I'm not sure we know either, actually, come to think of it. Yeah. I spouse, but but I yeah, we will uh, see you guys tomorrow. Make sure to subscribe to Simo and stay tuned for the next round or the next matches in round one of the Yugi Tuber Championship 2018.